I'm Jeff Leiden, uh, Meat Department Manager, Storm Lake. I'm Brian Baumover, I'm Grocery Manager at Storm Lake Fairway. And what do you guys like about working for Fairway? Probably what I like the best is I'm just talking to people every day and we meet hundreds of thousands of people throughout their throughout the year's time and then also that we're closing Sunday. We still got that day that we know that we can have time for our families. I like taking care of customers. Uh, I like making sure they leave here with a smile. I like to have them have a, a, a good attitude about what they bought, feel comfortable with uh, taking it home and fixing it for their families. The store opened in January of 1946. The second location opened in 78. And now in the present location that we're in, just opened up three years ago um, in 2009, December 2009. Well, we had doubled in size just about from this location to our past store. And, but, um, and we added a bakery. We added a liquor department, more refrigeration and stuff, and just more selection. Um, we went from stand-up freezers, went from a 32-foot meat case to a 44-foot meat case. Twice as much room, just to offer, offer the people a different variety of everything. And also, we're able to now, we have room for gluten-free items, which that is an everyday important thing now, is gluten-free and organics. What our customers are asking is that they want gluten-free, and, and I now can get it, and I now have the space to carry it and fulfill their needs. We've added all this organic and um, gluten-free items, which I didn't know a, heck of a lot about, but it's, it's a learning process and stuff. But, but one thing I do know, organics is a choice, but when you get to gluten-free, gluten intolerant, it's, it's a must. Much easier to be hands-on to keep clean. Uh, we get to clean the glass from this side now, both sides. It's easier to pull. It's hard to reach the front of the case from the back, so uh, it's better hands-on for us. We added the cold beer section. It was just one of the, uh, the things that our customers were asking for. And I, I just got a compliment the other day is that Brian, your beer is by far the coldest in town. One of the things we just added in the past month is that uh, child's kitty cart. The cart is busy all the time, which I believe I'm going to have to receive, get some more, but they're having a, those are my next employees, possibly someday, or my future customers. On the cart. We're not able to sell liquor like this before. Just sell warm beer. That's all we ever used to sell. So this is all new to us, and it's really doing great, great business. Our company is putting in stand-up freezers in all the newer fairway stores and remodel stores. So you can see our new stand-up freezers. They uh, have a lot more room in them. They're just a lot better for the public to shop. More selection. It's huge. Lots more selection than what we used to have. So. What sets your store apart from the competition? Full service. That's what we have to offer more than any other store is in the, the community is full service. That's our big, big draw. In our, our carry out service, um, I, I should say, go back, our employees, we got it. A number of employees with 20 and 30 years that we inherited when we both came here and and when the customer comes and they they want to talk to those people because they know that Bob and Bill and and um, they know that these guys will help us and stuff because they've been there and they're stable we have over 120 years of experience in the meat department The biggest challenge we had to face was when we built this new store, uh, the transformation from one store to another, and then doubled in size. I don't know about Brian, but I don't have much hair left. I about pulled it all out from that big move, so that was my big one. Keeping up with customers' needs, uh, they change monthly, practically. All it takes is a television advertisement to change everybody's thinking about certain products. Just keeping up with that alone is an almost full-time job. 83% um, of our uh, school district is minorities, so it's not really a minority anymore. 
but getting the stuff that they want and they need and to, to get it in a timely fashion and stuff is, is kind of a learning process. How do you stay on top of it? Just paying attention to what their needs are and and our, our best asset is our Hispanic uh, employees and stuff and they will tell us. And also developing relationships with the Latino community and the Asian community and, and they'll, they'll tell you what they want and then when they feel more, more and more comfortable with you they'll, they'll tell you. Like one day I had this catalog and I asked a family highlight everything you want me to get and, and just by checking out on what is going on in, in the community too and our other our co competitors and stuff as well. This is one of our, our new Hispanic sections, Latino sections we try to take care of and this is we told you earlier we were asking questions about what they like, uh, what kind of things they need. These are just a few of them that are the dairy products, and some of the meat products. But we fill this case about three times a day. So uh, they fill their grocery carts with this stuff, so we have to be able to have it. Uh, we have to find the room, and this is one way. It's just being connected with everybody in the community and, and, and knowing that that we've been here for that many years, we're not going, and so they got the trust both in Jeff and myself. They, tr they trust the us. Thing. They can talk and they can trust us. That's a big thing. Communication. This whole aisle here is authentic Latino items. Um, we're in the process of adding some more items. One currency, please. It's a learning thing all the time. I feel like it's part of the job. Uh, we knew going in that, that we had to uh, uh, be noticed, be recognized, be a part of the community. Uh, that's, that's part of the job. That's part of being a successful manager in this business. That's just part of it. Plus, it's the fun part, right, Brian? Yes. You know, <laughs> and, you know, this is our home. This is my town. Um, what what happens? What goes on? That positive things go on in this community. Positive things are going to happen at the store and for Fairway as well. You get involved in some charity work. Can you talk about that a little bit? Oh well, Faith, Hope, and Charity, where there's some um, special needs uh, children stuff. Um, I don't know. Santa Claus appears there every once in a while, <laughs> you know. And a Genesis is a handicap area for residents where they have some job things. We do a lot of things for them. I, help support their Christmas parties. Um, we got the Knights of Columbus, we had Lord's Cupboard, Upper Des Moines, um, St. Mary's uh, Booster, Art Department, 4-H, Pork Producers, Beef Producers, um, the Little League Youth Program. We had uh, the University of Buena Vista University a professor brought um, 15 uh, Chinese students and they'd never seen a bakery before. An American bakery. So we came in. They, um, my baker, showed them some things and decorated. And they decorated some cookies and stuff, you know. And they used to see in their eyes and learned learned to taste the sweets and stuff. So, so that was part of their class to come here and learn learn about that. So it, it was kind of fun, and they were appreciative and uh, who who could pile the frosting the high, the highest and stuff. So, but I'm sure that is an experience that they'll take back home to China when they when they leave here. One thing is uh, the BB County Pork Producers, um, we have really developed rapport with them and so over the years we've done promoting pork patties and this and that and I think we got the record, I think we sold uh, 6,200 pork patties in four hours. People are asking, when are the pork patties going to be, you know, the, the, that following year, when's it going to happen? This, but when the pork producers, uh, the president says, okay, we need everybody at Fairway, these farmers and business people, they're stopping their jobs. They're stopping their jobs, stop taking care of their farm, you know, on a summer day. But they feel that's important and it's a partnership. And the pork producers here in this county, they're a very active deal and they do a lot of things also for different charities. So we work with them as well. And then, uh, but with uh, BD County, we're having a packing plant in Tyson, in Strum Lake which pork production is a very important part of our local economy as well. There's a project called Homes for Haiti. Um, they got involved with that this year and, and 
fun, it's a fundraising thing that these grain bins, which are manufactured here in Iowa, from suck up manufacturing. Um, it's this round bin, looks like a grain bin, and uh, but it has doorways and windows, and uh, uh, some people are down in Haiti, and they, they, there was a need for this, and so they made these homes, and uh, ten people can sleep in one, and they use some storage, and and they're still a long going process. So we work with the pork producers on that, and we built one of these bins on our parking lot. What are some of the accomplishments that you're most proud of? I guess for me, uh, I've had several guys that I've hired, finished uh, working here. Usually they're uh, university, uh, in Budapest College. They'll graduate and then they'll actually transfer out and try to follow in my footsteps, try to do the job I'm doing. I believe I have uh, four or five out there now that are trying to become meat managers. I would say that's my biggest accomplishment that I have right now. They're most, I'm, I'm most proud of that. And I, I have to agree with him there. I have six assistants out there that started here in Sturm Lake. Now, was it all from what I did? No, it's from when they transferred around different managers and with very manager in a different town, you're learning different things. But they started here. Also, my son now is the assistant manager in Emmitsburg in the meat department. So that's another pretty positive thing that's happened in my life. Uh, he must really think good things about the company, the corporation, and, and growing up as a, he's had to transfer around a lot. Uh, for Paul, he was in free high school, so uh, for him to want to do that uh, means a lot to me. Go back and talk about my employees. One thing I'm proud of is um, we have a, a lady, her husband has cancer, and, and she's running out of vacation time. So we uh, sent out a note and say, hey, does anybody want to help her out? And, give some of your vacation time to her. In two days, I had five weeks of vacation time given to her. When the next time something else happens, we'll take care of that person too as well. And that's why I have so many people of 10, 20, 30 years of service. And, and I think that has come with the way Fairway has brought us up. We have 33 years, 31 years. But that's just the whole environment of Fairway. And a, a teacher asked me, you know, he says, we need to give this kid a break, give him a job. This person now is in the transfer program. He's a cantor at church, which he speaks very good English and Spanish, which now he's also doing another thing, is building a relationship between the Latino and the Caucasian um, groups at church. The Caucasian Latino people, they're working well together. And also, Juvenal, he, we're asking him for advice on what do we need. Um, so our cultures are blending them together. You know, we have a different Latino restaurants in town. So I, I just think it's almost a social responsibility is, I think we're part of making people work together. You, you Sometimes you wonder if you make a difference, you know, you have a bad day. This is something that that kind of hit home to me. The, the home, Storm Lake Homecoming Parade is going through the fairway parking lot because we're in between downtown and the public school. You know, and I made some signs. I said, gold tornadoes in the green and white. You know, and, and then they came back, go back to the school, you know, and I, said, I yelled out gold tornadoes. And they said, go fairway. <laughs> it was the whole football team that yelled that out back to me and stuff I'm like, wow, these kids do care about all the different projects that we do to do for them and stuff. That kind of made me feel good, but future employees. Future employees and, and future community leaders as well. I guess that made me feel good about being in Storm Lake, being the hometown grocery manager or the hometown meat manager, you know, where people do appreciate all the things that you do.